Jay, good to see you this afternoon. How have you been? Okay, how are you coping? Have you been following the steps that we talked about in our last session? I tried, Doc, but uh, it ain't easy. I know, I hear you. So let's try to do it together. Do you remember what's step one? Uh, I believe it was acknowledgement. You're right about that. Uh, let's try to go over exactly what happened in your barbershop that evening. Okay. Uh, it was a typical night. Well, just like any other night. It had been a long day and I was closing up the shop. I was going through my usual routine, you know, just cleaning the clippers and sweeping the floor. Just kind of putting the shop back in order, you know? Then there was a knock at the door. So I say, we're closed. <laughs> then I hear the door jingle. I mean, this person was determined to get in. Now, I could have sworn I had locked that door, but it opened up. This guy comes in. And he says, can you fit me in? And I say, sorry, man, I'm done for the night. I put my clippers down, and I swear it was like he was a magician. It's like he teleported across the room. That is very interesting. So, uh, does he say anything else at that point? Yeah. He had this crazy look in his eyes. And he said, all I need is a little trouble. So, what's wrong with that? He already had a haircut. Huh? <laughs> then get this. He says to me, is there anyone else here? I said, no. Then he said, perfect. So I figured, it can't hurt nothing. A little extra money in my pocket. So he sits down on the chair and he crosses his legs. Never seen anything like it. Couldn't have been comfortable. But whatever. I go ahead and put the cape on him and I ask, so what were you looking to get? And again he says, a little trim. But this time, for some reason, I knew he meant it. Did that bother you? I was a little uneasy. And what was even more odd... Man law number 100. Outside of a handshake, a man never touches another man's hand. Because he kept talking about some light spot on top of the But I ain't seen nothing. No, Doc, everybody knows the first rule to getting your hair cut is you gotta stay still. But this guy would not stop trying to turn his head. I mean, it was like he was trying to watch me cut his hair or something. And did that make you uncomfortable? Not as much as when I noticed his hand dangling off the side of the chair. Man law number 451. A man never puts his hands outside of the barber chair. Uh, why was this an issue? Well, not to be too frank, Doc. I don't want him touching my nuts. I see. Wait, don't, don't write that down. So, uh, so as I'm putting on the finishing touches of his haircut, I notice he keeps trying to turn his head. And at this point, I'm getting aggravated. And, uh, I'm, I'm sick of this cat and mouse game. How do you expect me to do my job if you don't keep your head still? And then he... Yes? It's okay to cry. What happened? They did it. I was
was shaping up his mustache. <laughs> Man law number 284. A man never makes eye contact with his barber while getting a shape up. How dare you? Okay, guy. It's okay to cry, remember? Say it with me. It's part of the process. process.